How's it going? We're getting into the middle of December now and usually this time of year it's getting too cold and frosty and sometimes snow on the way and there's just not much to photograph anymore but this year it's been weirdly warm still and it's quite humid and damp out here so I'm hoping I'll still have some luck finding something. I'm here in a forest I visited about a month ago where I found some holly parachutes which are probably my all-time favourite species to photograph and so I'm going to start today looking in the spots that I found those last time and hope there's still some around. And after that, I'll move on into the rest of the forest and begin my walk properly. So this is the area that I was finding holly parachutes about a month ago. You can see the ground here is just covered in holly leaves from this really tall holly tree above. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time starting my day here. Just search through all these holly leaves really carefully, have a look through and see what I can find. And Hopefully I'll find some more because this is probably the last chance I'll get this year. And then I'll be waiting another 10 to 12 months until I can try and photograph them again. Uh, no luck finding holly parachutes yet, but I have spotted these, which is a species I'm not entirely sure of, to be honest. They've got a nice bit of pink and yellow hue to them. As you can see, I've set the camera up here. I've already taken the photo. I think it should turn out pretty nice. And I'll continue looking for a little bit longer before heading into the forest. I was about to give up and move on and then I spotted a couple of small white specks right at the back. I just dug them out and it is exactly what I was hoping it would be. A nice pair of holly parachutes there. Now I'm going to place these on the ground somewhere, try and find a nice way to set them up and get a photo. I've just very carefully balanced the leaf that they're growing on just on this bit of wood so they're a bit raised off the ground and that's allowed me to set the camera up to get a nice frame here that I really spent a while trying to find the right angle as that is exactly what I wanted the view from the side of them both growing together crossing over each other so I'll get this photo taken and then I might try and find something to put in the backdrop either a green or yellow leaf like last time and then go for a quick close-up photo of one of the caps. It's a shame there's no droplets on them this time, but it still should make for a really nice photo. Now, I've not had any luck being able to change the background colour this time. But I have found a nice photo there, just really zoomed in focused on the two caps side by side i think i'm pretty pleased with that and the first photo so i don't think i'll find any more here as it's taken me a while just to find the one i think it's time to move on head into the proper forest Just spent a few minutes down by this stream looking at sticks and leaves and seeing what I can find in this damp area and I spotted some small white specks on a piece of wood here. It turns out to be just two tiny little slime mold fruiting bodies. Now they're growing on a little bit of wood that sticks out from the rest which might make for a really nice photo. So I've just found a little bit here that I can balance the piece of wood on. I'm going to get my camera set up and try and get a couple of photos of them. I'm going to start just trying to get a photo or two with the 90mm lens on its own. But with how small they are, I think I'll eventually put the teleconverter on so I can get really close. And then probably go for a photo of just one on its own. Try and either photograph both of them or just one, depending on how they look and how similar they are. I'm just going to move this a little bit further forward. Because that rock's in the way of where I want the tripod to go. I'm just trying to find a nice frame that captures both of them so they're nice and symmetrical as much as they can be. I think I've found that here. So I'll just get this taken and then after this is done I'll put the teleconverter on see what else I can do. I 
Now I'm going to try and isolate one of them from that first photo, I think both of them will look quite nice isolated. So I'll pick one then the other and probably get two quite nice photos here. I've just finished photographing those slime molds. I thought I'd have a look on this little moss covered tree here, just to see if there's any small mushrooms growing in the moss. And pretty quickly I've spotted this one here, which is a, a nice size for photographing. It's not too small. And then a really tiny one in there. That one is gonna to prove to be a bit more of a challenge. I don't know if it will really work out that well as a photo, but I'll definitely try to photograph it. So I've moved the camera onto the tripod so that I can get high enough. Now I'll get all set up and see what I can do. I'm going to start going for the larger one first, as that should be easier. Just get the tripod at the right level. I'm just going for my usual framing of these kind of subjects. I'm having the mushroom in the right third because it's leaning to the left of the frame. I've got it at a nice angle that you can see underneath the cap just a bit. Now I'll just let the camera do its thing. Now I'll have a go at trying to photograph this really small one. I've noticed a few more just around this side of the tree as well. So if this small one doesn't work out, I might try those, but they're all going to look similar, so I don't want to take too many. I'm able to find a frame, but I want to try and get the camera a little bit closer, which is difficult to do, given the circumstances, the location of this mushroom. Now I've just got the other challenge of actually finding the mushroom through the camera, because it's just that small, the tiniest movement, completely removes it from the frame. Okay, I think I found a photo that I'm happy with, at least as happy as I can be. It is growing a little bit slanted, so it's never gonna look perfect. I'll get that taken. I uh, don't think I'll bother with the others as I think this one has turned out a little bit nicer than I expected. So I'll move on now, go to another location and hopefully find a few more things. I've only really got maybe an hour, if that, left out here today. It's only been a short day. But I'm hopeful I'll find a few more things on the loop back to where I began this walk. came to one of the many large piles of wood and sticks that are around here. Thought I'd have a quick search through all of this mossy wood. Usually there's a few things growing on it. And I first noticed these, which unfortunately were way past the stage where they're worth photographing. And then I did come across this one tiny little orange mushroom here, just growing on its own in the moss. So I'll get the cameras swapped over again get that camera off the tripod, back onto the flexible tripod. Try and get a nice low angle of this little mushroom. Now this wasn't the easiest photo to get set up with all this wood in the way. I eventually managed to find this photo here. I just like the way the orange contrasts against the green of the moss. Get that taken. It's not the most perfectly shaped mushroom, but I still think it looks nice enough and they can't all be perfect in nature. Um, coming to the end of the walk now, I've just came across a couple of these little yellow mushrooms. Most of them are a little bit sad, a bit too far gone, colours faded. But there's this one on the left that's still got a really bright colour to it. So I've just set up my camera here 
to get a nice angle, really close up to it, pick up all that detail. It looks like it should turn out to be quite a nice photo. I'm um, coming to the end of the walk here and don't expect to find anything else. I'd say it's been a pretty successful walk given I was only here for a couple of hours and the time of the year I'd normally not find anything so it's been quite nice. Uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stick around for the next one.